I never took off the sticker on the mirror in the M Cosmetics Cushion Foundation. Are you guys ready? So satisfying. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be trying some new makeup. I am finally <laughs> gonna be trying these two new Tom Ford quads. These are the two new wet dry baked gelée quads that I don't know, I feel like they just kind of snuck out onto the market. They started to pop up on Nordstrom. They sold out quickly, they popped up again. So anyway, I finally got my hands on them. This one is Rose Prism, Prisme, um, and Metallic Denim. And I'm sure you guys have seen this all over Instagram, all over YouTube already. And I think I'm gonna try and use both of them. I'm gonna do like two full eye looks for you because I'm personally very curious about how those are going to look and how they perform and everything. I'm really excited. They both look really beautiful. Um, I also just received in PR um, the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Powder um, palettes. So these are the palettes with like a range of shades in there. So this one is the fair to medium. This one is the medium to warm. So I think I'm gonna use, um, well, if I need to, I think I'm gonna use some of the shades in here as powder bronzer because I do have a bronzer stick that I wanna try. M Cosmetics sent me their So Soft Multi Face Play and I'm gonna try the shade Summer, which I think is the lightest shade. I also was sent, and I'm not sure if this is gonna go with the look that I end up with, um, but I was also sent from Westman Atelier the um, Squeaky Clean Lip Balm, I think is the full name, in the shade Pipsqueak. And I don't have the shade, but this one looks like, um, like a burnt red color. Um, so we'll try that. And I did also want to use one of the new Valentino products that I didn't get a chance to use in my dedicated video to the new Valentino makeup, and that is this Eye to Cheek. Sorry, the brush just dropped. This is the Eye to Cheek in number 12. I believe the name is Bright Dream. And it's just, it's a really interesting color. I feel like I'd probably use it on my eyes more than my cheeks, but anyway, we're gonna give it a shot. And yeah, some other new stuff. So I'm actually gonna start with a corrector that I've never used before. And I think this is like a staple in the Bobbi Brown line. So this is the corrector in the shade Bisque. And so it has a little bit of a peachy tinge to it. And I thought today, <laughs> I thought today would be a good day to use it. I just feel like I look a little sallow, like, yeah, just a little bit under my eyes. Um, so I thought I would put this on just with my fingers before I actually applied foundation. So I'm just gonna warm this up. Ooh, it's, it's very creamy. Picking some up on my ring finger there. And just gonna tap some on. Yeah, I just wanna brighten my under eye area a little bit. I don't know why I look kinda of tired. I feel like I had a really decent night's rest, but you know, it's one of those days. So this product has like a little bit of a tackiness, which I think is gonna help it stay put. And I think that's great because I am gonna be putting some foundation over it. And I, the last thing I want is to move corrector around because I want it where I want it, you know? <laughs> Well, look at that. I feel like it brightened up my under eyes. It kind of acted as a concealer for me. Um, for foundation, I don't have anything new, but I do have one that I love and I just haven't used in a long time. And I think kind of going through my collection, moving, packing it all, now trying, trying to organize it. Um, I'm like coming across makeup in my collection that I just haven't used in a long time that I love like this M Cosmetics Cushion Foundation. So I thought I would use this. I have it in the shade uh, Gentle Light. Uh, it's for light, medium skin tones. And I wonder if this is gonna be a little bit too deep for me. Here is Gentle Light. It is definitely much lighter, uh, not in the cushion. And I wanted to try a brand new sponge. So Orsay has just come out with the Perfecting Makeup Sponge. Here's the box. And here is what the sponge looks like. So it's shaped like a beauty blender, but then it's cut. So you've got this flat angle in there, which is really, really great. It has a really nice texture. It's very, very soft. And I wet it before I sat down to film and it's still nice and damp. So this is about the size that it gets to when it is damp. All right, well, I'm gonna use the butt of the blender, the, the bottom round side. That's the side I like to use when I you know, wanna cover a lot of surface area. So I'm gonna dip that into this M Cosmetics foundation. 
Ooh, I like the texture of the sponge. It has like just enough bounce. It's like just firm enough, not too firm, <laughs> just firm enough. And it's really soft, like really, really soft. Yeah, I think this is a good shade for me. So you see how much lighter it is on my face than it is in the pan? Yeah, so light medium I think works for me. And this cushion foundation has an SPF 50, which is fantastic. All right, well this cushion foundation is just as lovely as I remember it. I love that slight glow that it gives my skin. Sorry, I'm trying to find the right lighting here so you can see, oh yeah. Really, really nice glow. If you have dry skin, I just think it makes you look not dry. It makes you look a lot more healthy, which I love. And this Orse sponge is excellent. I really like the texture of this sponge and the size. It's a good size. All right, off to a good start. Um, I don't have any new concealer, which I think is fine because I think that corrector with this foundation on top does the job. I think we're good to go there. So like I mentioned, I do have that cream bronzer stick. Uh, yeah, let's start with that. I was debating whether or not I should use the, the powder palette first, but I'm gonna use the M Cosmetics uh, So Soft Multi Face Play <laughs> Stick in Summer. And this is what the packaging looks like. She came out with cream blushes pretty much around the same time, and that packaging is like a softer pink. So you can't tell them apart when the cap is on. And here is the summer shade. I'm just gonna swipe some on. Right, oh God, that always looks so scary when you do it. Right underneath my cheekbone. <laughs> Let's just leave it. Let's just leave it like that. I've got my Sonia G Classic Base Brush. This is part of her Fusion uh, Series brush set. They're just the best cream brushes available absolutely amazing and she just restocked them i hope they're still i hope they're still available anyway if they are i'll link them down below in my description box um, but i'm gonna go ahead and blend this in and hopefully it won't be as scary Ooh, how lovely wow that blended in like a dream so that's what it started out like <laughs> this is what it blends to oh nice I think I came in a little too far with the bronzer. I feel like when you contour like a little bit too close to your lip, you start to look a little gaunt. You know, you don't look chiseled, you look gaunt. And I don't, I don't wanna look gaunt. <laughs> okay, sorry, I just had to change my camera exposure. Sorry, I keep, I keep talking about my stupid filming setup. You guys are probably so sick of it, but the light was changing and the lighting was changing. Anyway, if it looks a little bit different, that's what I just did. Okay, so that is the M Cosmetics so soft multi face play did i get that right so soft multi face play in the shade summer i think that's lovely i love it it has a teensy bit of warmth in there uh, but it's not too orangey you know it looks a little bit more peachy versus orange and i think that looks so nice as a bronzer contour situation actually i only really used it as contour let me try it like on my forehead a little bit and see what happens. And this time I'm actually going to uh, use my brush and kind of just brush it over the product instead of swiping it on. Wow, I don't even think I added that much product onto my brush, but I got my entire forehead. <laughs> I look almost like I'm self tan now. I should bring some down, down my neck. Wow, and it's blending out really nicely. You know, it's not patchy at all. I don't feel like it's moving anything underneath. Wow, awesome, M Cosmetics, good stuff, good stuff. All right, now it is time to play with the By Terry um, powder palettes. These are the Hyaluronic Hydro Powder Palette. And let me use the fair to medium first. This is the lighter of the two. And I'm going to use a little bit of this powder here to set underneath my eyes. And the way I like to use the By Terry Hydra powders is with my finger and pressing the powder in. I find if I brush it on, even if I use the smallest amount for some reason, I feel like it looks a little drying underneath my eyes. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the powder. 
about that much. And I'm going to press. And I guess maybe it's the pressing action. Like I really get it into my foundation, my corrector or concealer if I'm wearing it. I really get the product in there so that it kind of gels and it's not sitting on top. And it ends up even doing like a really nice um, blurring thing when I do it that way. Again, for some reason, when I use it with a brush or any other way, it just doesn't work for me. I know, I know this powder is like a cult classic. People love it or whatever, but I just, I have to use it for underneath my eyes. I have to use it with my finger uh, and pressing it in. The rest of my face, I can lightly dust it, you know, on my cheeks and it looks, it looks fine. So I'm just gonna press under my eyes to set it. And you can see that it does an amazing job mattifying, for sure. And I think it does an amazing job setting makeup down as well. So I'm gonna grab this powder down here in the bottom left-hand corner and use that to lightly dust all over my face. And I've got my Chikahoto GSM-1 brush. And I'm just gonna dust. Kind of avoid my under eye area. Okay, and now I'm wondering if I'll end up going overboard if I set like the cream bronzer with maybe a mixture of these two shades. This is the deeper palette, by the way. This is the number two, medium to warm. And I wonder if I mix these two shades, if it'll make the contour a little bit too deep. It's just makeup, let's try. So I'm just gonna use the same uh, GSM-1 brush. I'm gonna go between these two and just lightly sweep. I think it made it a teensy bit darker, but not too much, not too much. Not too bad. I definitely look contoured though. Definitely look contoured and bronzed. Wow, that M Cosmetics stick I think did a great job. Okay, so those are the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Powder palettes. And I just think this is such a great idea. I have a bunch of the Hyaluronic Hydro Powders in the loose form, and I go between like the rose and the regular and the, I think it's called the natural shade. And they're all kind of like in this family. And I like, you know, a lighter one underneath my eyes. I like a deeper one, like what I just did for around my face. And then it's nice to use um, a shade to set your bronzer if you're like my skin tone. So I just think they're such a good idea. And if you're a big, big fan of these uh, Hydro Powders from By Terry and having them in not only a pressed powder form, because they do have that, but in these palettes, it's so easy. It's so convenient when I feel comfortable traveling again. These will be really, really great to travel with. So I think these are great, really, really great. And they perform just like the, the Hydro Powder. I don't think quality was compromised when they put them in the palette. Let's move on to the Valentino Eye to Cheek in number 12, Bright Dream. So this is, you know, a, just a very interesting shade. And that's one of the reasons why I got it, <laughs> why I purchased it. I was like, let's see what that's going to look like. In the pan, this kind of looks like a medium toned like highlighter, if you will, like has a little bit of gold in there. Maybe there's a little bit of bronze, but on the Valentino site, the model who was modeling this, it almost looked like there was an orange kind of shift to it. So I'm really interested to try this. I've got my Sonia G mini base brush. And this again, is part of her fusion set. So this is meant for cream products. The Valentino, you know, powder products like the pressed powder, the bronzer, this, they're so creamy. I thought this brush would actually probably do really well with it. So I'm gonna try this. So I'm gonna just start on the apples here. Well, I don't see a lot of um, pigment going on, but wow, I hope you guys can see that highlight. I think this would make a fantastic highlighter for like medium to deeper skin tones. I think for my skin tone, this is great as maybe like a blush topper. It's really pretty and it is very different for a, you know, different for a blush. I actually see a little bit of the pigment coming out. I kind of dipped into the pan again and went over both cheeks. I feel like the further I get into the pan, the rosier it's getting. I could be imagining things, but that's what it seems like is happening on my cheeks. All right, well, that's the Bright Dream color from Valentino, and I definitely, definitely do not need any highlight <laughs> after that blush. In fact, I think I'm gonna take my powder brush and just run over it a little bit, just to kind of blend it in 
some more, yeah. It looked a little too stripey for me. All right, I'm just gonna throw in my Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel, and I'll be right back to play with those new Tom Ford quads. All right, I think we should play with Rose Prisme or Prism first. And I feel like they're calling this something different. It's Rose Prisme on the box, but I think, I don't know, they're calling it like pop dust or something. I don't know, I don't know why they do that, but they're calling it something different here in the US than it is, I don't know, in Europe. Like why, why all that effort? I don't get it. So here is a close look at the palette. And then here are some swatches of the four shades. So I just started with the top left shade and went clockwise. I am so, so excited for this one shade in the bottom left-hand corner here. It's like that kind of iridescent, like lilac shade. I just think it's so pretty. And I mean, all the shades in here are so pretty. This top left one, oof. This is like really calling my name too. And then we've got some peaches. I love this like cool tone left side and then this warmer toned right side. So let's see how they work on the lids. Okay, I'm gonna start with this top left shade and I've got my Sonia G Worker One brush. Putting that in the inner corner. This shade I'm realizing, it's kind of acting like a top, like a top coat, like a, like a top coat shimmer kind of shade. It's very transparent, the, the base of it. So maybe what I should do, I'm just gonna leave that there. I'm gonna go into that lilac shade and do the same thing. Yeah, this has a little bit more like opacity to it. Actually, I won't be able to tell until I get it on this eye. Let me do that. This shade is looking, I don't know almost like nothing, almost like it's blending away, which is so strange for this formula, but it's a little um, dusty looking. Huh. Well, I wonder if both of those shades need some sort of base to them. Let me wipe off my brush again. Uh, I'm gonna go into this deeper brown shade. Let's start there. Even that brown is really soft. This palette, is very, very soft. <laughs> it's a very soft touch kind of palette. Yeah, I think if you are really into a soft eye look, you'd be pleased with this. I was expecting a little bit more, I'm gonna admit. I was expecting a little bit more. I thought this was going to be a little bit more of like an iridescent, uh, kind of like fun shade, but that one looks a little bit dusty. I'm actually gonna try applying it over that brown now and see if we get something kind of fun going. Mm, that is so weird. Those two shades didn't even blend well together. This is very interesting. The only time I've had an issue with these types of eyeshadow formulas, I can't even remember. It was in the chrome packaging, the extreme eyeshadows. And those were actually supposed to be like a little bit of a different formula, but they looked like the Bake Chalet. I didn't have luck with the first one that they came out with. And now I'm not really having luck with this one. Let's try the peach shade. That's the only one I haven't tried so far. Let's see what this looks like. That kind of looks like a little bit of nothing too. Wow, that's really strange. This is so beautiful looking in the pan, but there's really no impact whatsoever. And hey, you guys know, I don't need a super bold eye look at all, ever. <laughs> Every once in a while I enjoy it, but it's not something I ever gravitate towards. And this is even a little lackluster to me. Wow. Wow, I'm really surprised. Well, that's kind of a bummer. So there's the eye look I managed. You know, just kind of throwing these three shades just all over my lid and then adding that darker brown, the outer corners and like into my crease area. You know, it's okay. I feel like if I want a really soft look, I can reach for this. I'm just not wowed. And I want it to be wowed, especially by this shade down here. It had so much potential. Did you guys pick this up? <laughs> Let me know what you think. It's so weird when you've tried like, you know, a gazillion of these types of eyeshadows and then you get to one you're like 
is it just me? Like, what's going on? Maybe it's just, maybe it's the day I'm having, you know? Let me uh, take this off, and then we'll play with the metallic denim. That has deeper shades, so maybe that'll have a little bit more oomph to it. All right, now for the metallic denim. Here is a close-up of the palette. And here are swatches, again, starting from the top left corner, going clockwise. And I'm going to take the Sony G Blender Pro Brush. I'm going to go right into this blue. I'm <laughs> so excited to try this blue. I feel like I'm having the same issue with this. It looks like I just put on some blue eyeshadow, but it looks a little patchy. I hope you guys can see that. Um, it's, it's just a little patchy, and these shadows usually go on so smoothly. It's almost like they're a little drier. Okay, I'm just gonna take the same brush and go into the taupe shade. You guys, am I going crazy? These shadows, I feel like I had to dip in four or five times to get like a similar effect to past wet dry eyeshadow formula from Tom Ford to get like the impact that I would get with just one dip, one swipe. Now I feel like I'm building up quite a bit. Well, at least with this taupe shade, I am. I do feel like I'm building up with like that pop dust rose one. I felt like I was just brushing away those like three lighter shades. At least this one is building up, this taupe shade. But I do feel like the quality is a little bit different with these. Yeah, this blue shade is so weird. I feel like when I can get a lot of the pigment down, it's, it's really beautiful. But then it just looks... It just looks patchy. I wish I had kept boxes from the older eyeshadows because I'm really curious to see if this formula changed. I have no idea. I'm looking at it right now and I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Wow. Sorry, I went a little ham with the, <laughs> the blue shade because I'm just trying to figure out like if it is indeed patchy or if it's me. I think it's a little bit patchy. You guys let me know. You guys let me know if you purchase this, what you think. I'm a little, um, I'm just surprised. I'm just really surprised. You know, they had a great formula going. It worked great. So I don't know, maybe it's the, these, these particular colors or I have no idea. I was so looking forward, <laughs> so looking forward to using these quads. Okay, moving on, moving on. Uh, Ilya sent me their newest mascara, which I'm so excited for. Their Limitless, is that, yeah, the Limitless Lash Mascara is one of my favorite mascaras. That Ilya mascara is amazing. So they've come out with a new one, and this one is called the Fullest Volumizing Mascara. And they included this card, and it says they are donating 100,000 meals to Feeding America. It says that right at the bottom. Isn't that awesome? Well, thank you from all of us, Ilya, thank you. So it's their newest breakthrough mascara, wraps each lash in weightless, buildable volume without flaking, promotes stronger, healthier looking lashes. So some key clean ingredients, arginine, which supports stronger, healthier looking lashes, pro-vitamin B5, and weightless wax blend, adds full, flexible body without the weight. So interesting. So it's safe for sensitive eyes, safe for contact lens wearers, which I am. Cruelty-free, fragrance-free, silicone-free. And it launched August 3rd at Ilya and Sephora. There's no, there's no price on here. Anyway, I'll list it down below in the description box. But here is the packaging. Really nice. And let's take a look at this wand. We have like an hourglass shaped wand with some natural style bristles. Oh my God, I was just about to put on this mascara without curling my lashes. One moment, please. I feel like, I know this is supposed to be a volumizing mascara, but I, th I feel like it made my lashes look longer than fuller. I mean, they, they, they do look fuller than their normal state, but I think what I notice is that my lashes actually look longer, which I'll take. I'll take anything. <laughs> but it's really nice. It glided on really nicely without the formula being too wet. You know, it had a nice like glide to it, which is really, really nice. Well, that's a new Ilya mascara. 
Very exciting, very exciting. And then for lips, like I said, I got that new shade in the Westman Atelier Squeaky Clean Liquid Lip Balm. I always like drop one word from that name. Squeaky Clean Liquid Lip Balm. And this is the shade Pip Squeak. Here is the color. And here's a swatch of that on my hand. Yeah, it's a really nice kind of warm red. Ooh, I like this color. I feel like it looks a lot more rusty in the swatch and in the tube, but once I get it on my lips, I feel like it looks like a very nice mid-tone neutral red. Really, really lovely. And these uh, liquid lip balms, they just have like the right amount of pigmentation. I mean, just enough so it looks like you have something on your lips, but not too much where it ends up being like this high maintenance application situation. So easy to apply. Oh, I really like this. All right, well anyway, that is it for this trying new makeup. I loved everything except for these two quads. <laughs> I couldn't be more shocked. I really could not be more shocked. I'm gonna have to play with them a little bit more, especially that rose pop dust one. I, I really wanna make that work because that color story is just so pretty to me. I love, love, love that lilac and the peach and... Okay, that is it. Uh, all the products will be linked down below in my description box. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and please, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. I'm dying to know. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.